There we go. So now we're right on the orange. I call this the, uh, the Ramapo Shorty. That's all it's going to be. Oop, let's wipe my camera. Looks like I'm sweating already. Yesterday there was a big white spot in the middle of my camera. I don't know what, how that happened. It wasn't from, you know, uh, perspiration. Sweat. And then I took the camera lens off and it's like the dot was inside, like a smudge. I don't know how that got in there. It wasn't in there. And it was perfectly in the center of the lens and perfectly round. Let's see what happens today. It's all nice and dry. Look at this. So much easier when it's dry. You just take this main line. I fell in love. Oh, I, I think I put the most tens and tens and tens. Probably over a hundred hours. Of, you know, setting up trail forks, adding all these trails the, the right way. The ones that overlapped, I made it so you could see they were both the same trail. Then they diverged away from each other when they became their own trails. So much work I did here. Fell in love with Ramapo. And then even Ringwood. All the trails weren't in Ringwood. Climbing in this direction. Keep jumping from side to side, trying to find a better line. And up here is kind of tough. I think we go to the right. Was tough. I think it's to the right. And then it's to the left. Yeah. Look at that. That'd be a challenge for a high-powered motorcycle to manage all those loose rocks. All right. All right, so we're staying to the left. That trail to the right, that'll take you out to a neighborhood in Ringwood, like kind of off of Conklin Town Road, for those who are familiar. It was great. Jump over to this side. So now I feel numbness in my arm hands. Ahead. I, wa I wasn't looking ahead the whole time so far still. <laughs> oh 
almost didn't have enough speed. But be careful, Rom. Nope. Oh no, it's way to the right. That's what that's what I get here. I get here and it's like, all right. So if I stay way to the right, that's what I want to try. I've gone to the left down between that tree. So if I come here, way, way to the right. All right. I think I've gone to the left and made it. And I think I've fallen at times. That's tough. That was tough for me. It doesn't look like anything going down it, but that was tough for me. Right, so here. All right. First time I went out, no, I think I've done it in the past. I can't remember. I'm just trying to see which which way I even want to go through here. See those descents really tire my back. They tire the heck out of my lower back. You know, I'm bracing myself with my legs. All right, so that was the janky. That might have been the only thing I was stressing about a little bit. Right, follow this around. I've done this in the opposite direction too. And I think what you see right to my left, that's more, you know, if you're gonna go the other way. Head, Rob, you're not, you're not looking ahead, buddy. Oops, did I get off trail? I think I think this is where I did. I want to go to the left there, or is the track just way off? No, I want to go to the left here. Let's just see. Yes. Now I don't know if this trail is going to be even rideable anymore. I'm hoping it is. Lens. All right, so this is orange too. So I think this is the first one I found when I, the first time I was ever back here. Is it showing to the left? Right, so I'm confused. So I thought this was the way. So when we go straight, are there two oranges? Is this marked as an orange too? Let's see. Temperature so nice. This is the Mellora way instead of, you know, doing the ridge line and all that. I did that the last time on my spot bike. That janky descent <laughs> had me a little concerned on the spot bike. 
I had the whole ride like in my rear shock. I had it too soft, making things a little bit harder than they should have been, all that bouncing. So if this is what I wanted, I think this is the very first one I found when I was learning Ramapo, or the one I came. Or did I come back here when I didn't know where I was, you know, until I, before I really learned it? Fun, fun. Loving my stump jumper. Analog bike. You all see me ride my e-bike. What are we doing here? Can we go on? Another hill. And up here, wait, this is the regular orange. Well, I certainly hope I chose the other course. Let's see when we get up here a ways. See the front of my foot, the front of my foot, kind of my toe went down and it got caught. My pedal was down at the bottom of the stroke. My toe got caught behind like the, the, the log. That's happened before. Think about that. Your foot's down in like the six o'clock, your toe's pointed down and you're going over a log or a rock and your toe gets caught under it, behind it. So as you go past it, your toe is still there. like that. Something like that. Now let's jump over here. I see this here. Yeah. Something like that. Shaking out my hands. Right, so we want to go this up here, right? Now we're going up here. It looks like 
like I don't, I don't want to be over here where I'm at. I kind of want to be to the right over here. Nazi, Nazi. I gotta shake out my hands. Shake out my hands. All right. Which way here? I think it's to. That's tough. Right. This will work around right here. Maybe my turn is going to be back here instead of going up those walk spots you have to walk. Maybe it goes to the left. I see a left turn coming up. Coming up soon, like right up here. Right? Is it still a little bit further? Let's go a little further and see, because it doesn't look like it's there. A little further and see. somewhere oh there it is right there is that it yeah all right no wait that's the orange that is the orange I don't remember anything back here. I think this is where I go straight. Yes. Yes. This is where I'm going to go to the left here instead of going up there. All right. 
So it keeps a lot of the tough stuff on this trail. Ah, yes. <laughs> nice and dry. You can see all the mud, what it would have been like. All right, so let's see how this is going to be. How I got up that man. How I got up that I stood. Nice and easy looking around, trying to look ahead a little bit. What a fun day so far. I guess when your riding is decent, <laughs> it's a fun day. Have been something because this would have been filled with mud. Oh, that, that's the crossing right there when it's filled with mud. Okay, I was just gonna comment about the bugs, and I just got bit in the heel, ankle behind my ankle. Bugs are pretty uh, powerful out here. Not as powerful as the big bug that got Donald Trump's ear. Yeah, this is a nice alternative if you don't want to go way up top and do all that stuff. This is looking pretty janky. Let's be careful from here. There we go over here. Remember to squeeze that front brake a lot more than the rear, especially when it gets real steep. I'm doing a good job of that today. Oh, what a fun, just mellow trail with a couple of highlights here and there. So since we didn't go up real high, we're not going to have those, you know, that janky descent. But we come over at the bottom of that. Up here in a little bit. You can see all the ridge line to my right if you look straight up there. Yep, this is definitely the trail I was on. Then I got lost, and I think I had to take Ringwood Avenue back. I was so lost, 
couldn't figure out where I was. So I always used a Garmin. If I would learn just to get my phone out and look at where I'm at. All that just seems so cumbersome, I never do it. The Garmin route is just awful at times. This is pretty damn steep. Don't know if I'm gonna get up here. Let's try over here first. Oh, I did that standing. Holy shit. Holy shit. I get, and I'm pulling right on the bars. I just amazed myself there, John Marshall. I think we go to the right here to get around all this mess. Starting here to highway. Well, this would have been crazy muddy, I can see. It would have been crazy muddy. Kind of crazy, my crazy numb hands. the lens. I don't feel like stopping and reaching down yet. I can hear the highway. So what do we have here? So that's the orange. I'm going that way. I'm going to take a nature stop. Let's get up here. Oh, so that's the orange there. We're going here. this right here. Was that the funky stream right to the left there? I think it is. Where am I going here? Holy shit. I got through that sucker. Holy shit. So hard.
Let's see if the camera was on. It was. Very nice. I think I was in my lowest gear, no momentum, and I was able to like almost come to a very slow, you know, speed and readjust the handlebars in my body. Because <laughs> when I had to make that sharp right, and then it was kind of a leftish around something else. <sighs> that just made my day there. <sighs> There's two climbs on Indian rock I don't make all the time for sure. That's where we're going up here, Indian rock. So, do I have to get up this hill before the left? Or is that it right there? I gotta get up the hill. beginning of the Indian rock. Right? This is mostly uphill, very challenging. Behind me, where it starts behind me, is by my friend John's house, and it's like a hike-a-bike section, like 25% grade. Waves. I feel my rear shock working a lot. I have it opened up all the way. This is all the rock shock stuff. I really like the rock shock too, to be honest. You know, I have all Fox on my other bikes. I just kept my foot from turning for a moment there. These are the spots. I don't feel like I'm going to make them today. <laughs> Get which way to go up here. <laughs> Almost, baby. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Almost. I forgot they came back to back. 
I've made that before, but not frequently. But how I made that sharp right-hand turn on the first section and got back on track was crazy. Very impressive, Rob. Very impressive. This is where I rest through here. It's the back. Don't even feel my legs, it's my back. I mean, I feel my legs, but it's the back that's tiring. Imagine having your lower back just real tired. And then you gotta push real hard for something. Maybe that helps explain it a little bit. Now with lots of leg power, like I was saying with you when I ride the e-bike, I see how these guys get through these things so easy. I have to work so much harder. So much harder because I'm not strong. So I hit something hard and my foot's in the 10 o'clock position, it almost doesn't want to come over. That's what happened there again. Hit something hard that kind of stops my forward momentum. Now you could go to the right, but that's really no fun. I've done that in the past. Up the top of this climb, I'm going to make a right onto the cannonball and head back down to, towards Pool Hollow. Indian rock. What a good ride I'm having today. This one making the hard right, I believe. Let me wipe my camera again. Drink of water. Good to go. So this is Cannonball. Take it down. Jump over 287. And then we're going to go down the yellow. We can come up the yellow coming out. There's a section on there that's just a little bit too steep for me. This is where I roll right up here. Holy shit! <laughs> Yep, this is the log I came over. 
how you just got up that steep grade with no speed. It's standing. I'm standing properly today somehow. Somehow I'm standing. Oops. I'm standing uh, and I'm pulling correctly and whatever I'm doing, I'm doing it right. Oops, no rear brake, Rob. All right, so that's where I went to my left before. That's why they got the sticks there. Which probably confuses many people. Right up here. All right. Hopefully I started the Garmin. Yeah, looks like we started the Garmin, five and a half miles. I haven't seen, I can't remember the last time that this was so nice. You know, the conditions. Like I said, it's not dry because there's no dust. Dry is when you have dust in the air. See how the, car, the tires just bite on the rubber when they're not on a stone, when they're not wet? I hear the highway. Now we're gonna have that janky, janky spot between the trees. I think I made it the last time. I think I go right up the center and just keep pedaling. I think that's the last real challenging spot. up here, what's all this? All right, so there's 287, so we're gonna have this muddy spot up here. Not muddy today. Think about just doing it all on the rocks. Stay all on the rocks. You gotta remember to get your seat off the your butt off the seat. Because if you don't, you're gonna keep stopping the rear end. It's gonna slow it down and you're gonna get hung up. Alright, here's our 287 crossing again. a chance of rain later on. What time is it? 1.14. So we're not taking the first left. Well, this is what we want here. All right. This is what I want, right? Yeah, I believe, hopefully. I'm not certain what gear I went through up here. Was it in my easiest gear? I even stopped pedaling. I stopped the pedal stroke so it wouldn't so it wouldn't strike. That was crazy. Boy is my body on today. I stopped pedaling for just a second in the midst of trying to get over that. So I wouldn't pedal strike and wouldn't throw me. Right, so it was a hard spot up here, I think, pedal-wise. 
I know it's not too bad. Keep practicing my standing. to the left here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What the heck was that? I didn't see it on the ground. I know there's a janky descending spot up there. I think I walked last time. Check out my hand. How dark it is back here. How dark it is. I think there's some trees down too back here if I remember right. Keep trying to manage my right hand. I think there's another janky descent. Well, they seem to be pretty damn low already. Right around to the right. Unless that was the janky descent I went down. For some reason I'm thinking it wasn't. I think it's right up here, maybe. That have been the janky descent. See, in the winter and stuff, when things are a mess. And I think I make a left up here. We're on the uh, main road. I think. Let's get up here and see. I think so. I'm not going to add any miles today. Nice. If you can pick a good line down here, I'd be careful on this sucker. Trust the old stump jumper. Careful down here, Rod. In here. I think the left here is good. I think we can stay to the left here. Oops. I think this is the way I need to do it. Yeah, we're going to the left. I guess I could have rode along that ridge, but probably not. 
Probably not, not so long anyway. What an awesome ride, holy shoot. The only thing I didn't make was that second climb on Indian Rock. So this is good, this, tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day. Oh, conditions are absolutely perfect. Uh, absolutely, oh, absolutely perfect. All right. Love Pool Hollow. Love it. Nice tracks. There you go. Ramapo Mountain.